In a matter of hours, Joe Biden will become the next president of the United States. Many congressional lawmakers will be on Capitol Hill for today's inauguration ceremony, including Alabama District 1 Congressman Jerry Carl. He is joining us this morning ahead of today's inauguration. Good morning, Congressman. Thank you for waking up with us. Good morning. I appreciate it. Great to be with you. Congressman, there are 750 National Guard troops from Alabama in the capital city this morning, part of a team of 250,000 troops from around the country. We've talked a lot this week about security around this inauguration. Can you tell us what you're seeing in the capital city? You know, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of those troops. Uh, I've, I've been kind of moving around, hollering, roll tide. I've been trying to find our Alabama troops. I, I figured that would at least start, start some arguments between Auburn and Alabama. I've not found our Alabama troops yet, but this town is well covered with, with our National Guards and uh, troops, and, and I certainly appreciate them being here. Capitol Police is uh, virtually everywhere. The neighborhoods we live at, the police are, are in the neighborhoods. They're stopping all flow of traffic. So I feel very secure up here. I, I don't have, I don't see any issues. I've seen no protesters. Uh, someone said they saw a few going on TV, but I've seen no protesters, and it's rare when you don't see protesters about something up here somewhere. Congressman, you were joining Congress at a time when we know the nation is deeply divided. We've seen extraordinary political tension in Washington. How important is it to turn down the temperature in Washington right now? <clears throat> I think it's very important. I, I, I don't know who's going to attend the inauguration today, but it was important for me. Uh, you know, kind of, my mother always taught me to honor the office. Uh, and she, she used to talk about policemen, you know, don't, uh, don't, don't worry about the officer, always, you know, respect the badge. And, and I feel that way about this. And, and I have some Democrat friends that, that I've made up here that uh, I hope I can sit with. I uh, don't know what the seating arrangements are quite yet, but uh, we'll find out here pretty soon. Congressman, of course, this is Inauguration Day, but there is still a coronavirus pandemic happening. And I want to ask you about the vaccine rollout, specifically here in Alabama. There's been a lot of criticism of Alabama's rollout ranking in the bottom of the country when it comes to vaccination rates. In fact, the state we reported this morning has 446,000 doses of the vaccine, but it's only administered 158,000 doses. Is there anything that your office can do to help this rollout? And what is your assessment of what you've seen so far? Well, it's easy to judge, judge people after the fact. And this is something new for all of us uh, in this generation, I, I should say. I can remember getting uh, vaccinations as a child. Uh, but, but this is something new. I know the governor and the governor's staff has worked hard to get these out. Now we need to encourage the, the, the health departments. I encourage everyone in Mobile, Baldwin County, and obviously your listening area to reach out to your health departments. It, it may be the simple fact that uh, a lot of people may not be aware of it or don't want to go stand in those lines. And there may be some other options if they'll reach out to their Board of Health and, and, and ask some questions. All right, Congressman Jerry Carl representing South Alabama in Congress. Thank you for your time this morning, Congressman. Thank you so much. And uh, I'm glad to hear y'all have a little warm weather because the cold weather has moved back up here. So. We sure do. We've got a nice day ahead of us. Thank you, Congressman. Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. Well, take care. All right, people in some rural Alabama 